Good day, everyone. Welcome to the presentation on understanding yarn linear density. Today, we'll explore the concept of linear density and its importance in the textile industry, particularly in yarn production. Let's begin by understanding the fundamental concept of density. Density is simply the measure of mass per unit volume of an object. In simpler terms, it tells us how much stuff is packed into a given amount of space. For example, if we have a box with a certain mass, we can calculate its density by dividing the mass by its volume. Now, when it comes to objects like paper or fabric, which are primarily two-dimensional, we face a different scenario. The thickness of these materials is negligible compared to their length and breadth. Therefore, instead of measuring their density in the traditional sense, we use what's called aerial density, which is the mass per unit area. This allows us to effectively measure the mass distribution over a flat surface. Moving on to yarn, we encounter a unique situation. Unlike boxes or paper, yarn is a one-dimensional object primarily measured by its length. Its width and thickness are so minuscule compared to its length that we can essentially consider its volume or area to be negligible. Hence, we use linear density to measure its mass distribution of a one-dimensional object like yarn. We can calculate linear density by dividing the mass of the yarn by its length. Now, why is linear density important in the textile industry? Well, it plays a crucial role in various aspects of textile production. Firstly, it determines the thickness and weight of the fabric produced from the yarn. Additionally, it directly affects the quality, durability, and performance of the final textile product. Moreover, understanding linear density helps manufacturers select the right yarn for specific applications based on desired characteristics. Thank you for your attention.